anyways, now that we actually have our energy source, for now, we can always upgrade this later to some more uh, better stuff in the future. Maybe even get some thermal expansion stuff instead of using this uh, cheap mechanism generator. Anyways, now that we have that, we have our power storage source as well, as well as our power wirings. We can actually make ourselves the machines that we need to make our dinosaur stuff. Or, to make the machines that we need to actually make the parts for our dinosaur stuff. So, first up, we need to make ourselves a pulverizer so we can pulverize some coal. Because we need some pulverized coal as well as iron to actually make steel. And we actually need to make steel inside the induction smelter. So, we can do that. Uh, let's see. Induction. We, I think we were looking at the induction smelter earlier. Induction smelter. Uh, did I spell it wrong? Oh, oh there it is. Alright, so, uh, we just need the basic version. We don't need the super duper... Uh, that's hardened. There you go. So we need, yeah, Invar. That's what we got the Invar for. We need the basic machine frame. There you go. So iron, tin gear, some glass, you know, some pretty, pretty normal stuff. I think we have some glass in our inventory for glass. Not bad. Uh, we still have a stair in here. Might as well use that stair to its full potential to get ourselves some more glass. There we go. Uh, let's put up this extra cobbledy cobble that we don't need. Dirt, stuff like that. These new blocks and invar and stuff like that as well. Put those all up. Uh, glass, I need that. The fossil, we're up to 24 fossils. That's a pretty good number. Wow, that's actually impressive. 24, that's almost half a stack. So we're probably going to get a pretty good chance of getting some good, uh, some good dinosaur DNA. And if not, we could always combine them in the combinator. Alright, so might as well grab our Invar. There's an Invar block and three Invar ingotaroos. Our last piece of glass looks like it is done. We also need some tin and iron. So there's iron and blocks of tin. So that should be more than enough. Alright, let's try and make the induction smelter thing itself. Let's wait for the basic frame to come up real quick. There it is. So we need to make the tin gear, which is like this. But we need to break down the blocks real quick so we can actually auto-craft those. But I think I have the recipe down in my brain. So there. Oh, nope. Never mind. Never mind. I don't. So let's open up that once more. There you go. Tin gear. And let's make this a tin gear. All right. So there's that. The tin gear is done. The Invar gear. And we need two of those. So there's the Invar gears. And we need the redstone reception coil. Oh, man, we don't have any gold, do we? Oh, yeah, we don't. We turned it all into Electrum, I think, right? Uh, yeah, I think we did. Ooh, ouch. Probably have to go back down mining, but I'll probably do that on my own. Anyways, to finish the machine frame, we need... I think we're good. Yeah, there's the machine frame. And we just need a bucket at the top. Invar. I think we're set, so let's actually put the recipe on screen like that, so... There's that, there's the Invar things, there's the Invar ingots, and we just need a bucket to go at the top, and we just need to go get some gold, and we can finish that redstone reception coin, I think we're good to go. Alright! Actually, I think, yeah, we do need some more redstone. We need two redstone, one gold ingot to actually make the redstone reception coil. So, we're going to have to hurry up and do that. Uh, let's put that redstone real, up real quick and try and get that last piece of gold that we're going to need. Actually, you know what? We have not harvested any of these farms in, like, forever. And we're probably missing out on a pretty good chunk of food. So, let's actually get all of this wheat real quick, replant it, and make ourselves a pretty good, pretty good loaves of bread. Like, I don't know how many loaves we can get out of this. Like, eh. I don't know, like, literally, like, every single farm here has been unharvested for, like, a while. Probably because, you know, the villagers have been dead. All the farmer villagers have been dead. They haven't been over here harvesting the, the crops like they should be whenever they are, you know, alive. But now they're actually here and they're not even doing their job. I have to do their job for them. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, and there's some carrots here as well. Oh man, I love these carrots. I think there's potatoes over there as well. Uh, let's get these carrots. And the pot potatoes are probably my favorite because you can actually cook them and they're actually a lot better when they're cooked. So, as opposed to carrots where you can't even, you know, you can't even cook them. You can't make them any better. And I think, yeah, this farm over here has the potatoes. So, let's grab all these delicious, delectable potato roos and replant all the extra ones. There we go, and go throw all the extra potatoes into our furnaces. Oh, there's a little bit of wheat here as well. Let's plant these real quick. And throw all those extra potatoes into our furnaces to get some baked potatoes that we can be munching on. And we don't have to, you know, go dry rack some, uh, some run flesh to get ourselves some monster jerky anymore. We'll just be able to eat some fresh, organic crops 
nice and healthy straight from nature and i i do i guess that rotten flesh is also straight from nature but you, you get all i mean it's fresh grown out of the ground there's no disgusting zombie bacteria growing all over the place like <laughs> like in rotten flesh so don't need to worry about that and let's throw i guess we can throw all of our crops and food inside of there actually we need we do need to make that bread we do have like a few loaves inside of there and unfortunately our backpack doesn't have a crafting table inside of it too used to playing end of earth sorry about that all right so ooh, it's actually dark outside we should probably go to bed real quick before going back to that cave oh there we go all right let's head over to the cave actually you know what uh the ravine yeah we already pretty much dried out the ravine so we probably don't need to go back to the ravine let's let's actually go back down to the cave and go into the abandoned mine and see if we can find any gold and stuff down there real quick so I'll see you guys once we're down there. Ooh, perfect. So I, I came down here into this hallway, and I, you know how there's coal on the ground. I started mining it, and wow, this is like an ingot gold mine. Not literally, or else it would actually be gold here, but <laughs> there's a lot of ingots. There's silver, there's there's lead, there was redstone here. I got all the redstone. There's ferris here. It's fantastic. Let's just grab all the ores. Actually, let's use our excavator to get rid of all this extra gravel that we don't need. And I, this gravel is completely useless. It, it's completely garbage. We don't need it. Get all this out of the way. There's probably a bunch of juicy hidden ores hidden behind all this disgusting gravel. So let's get rid of all the gravel like so. There you go. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing any more ores hiding behind this gravel. So, ah, uh, man, I, I thought we would have had some more, but we already had a pretty good amount of ores back there anyway. So uh, I'm not even upset. Let's actually finish this to make it so we can actually staircase up there properly. There we go. And let's head back to that abandoned mine. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm down here mining, trying to get some, you know, gold and various other uh, materials. And I came across a loot crate. Let's see what's inside of it. Hopefully it's something. I, I, I just hope it's something decent. I hope it's not like tumbleweeds or something. Really? Coal and... I guess we do need redstone. Coal and redstone. Pile of ashes. We don't need that. <laughs> Okay, well, coal and redstone, eh, eh, I'll take it, but really got my hopes about it so, it got my hopes up so much that I even, like, started recording for that, gee, <laughs> alright, well, anyways, I think, I think I might be done here, I'm not coming across any more materials worth mining, there's, there's more iron there, but I, I guess, but I think I'm going to head home, uh, we have a pretty good amount of gold, iron, tin, stuff like that, we could probably head back home, and I'll see you guys once we get back home. Actually, uh, I'll see you guys once we get back at that smeltery, because we're probably going to go there anyway, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. Whoops, I just realized I didn't uh, unpause the recording, and I was still paused whenever I just came back and threw all the stuff into the smeltery, and I even made the, uh, the induction smelter itself, and now we're working on the pulverizer, so we need to come back over to here and grab some bronze, or not bronze, uh... Yeah, oh, did it all turn into bronze? Yeah, that's a ton of bronze. That is way too much. We need to get all that bronze out of there. Yeah, <laughs> that's way too much. We do not want that stuff to mix inside of here. We need... I don't think there's a machine that actually, like, unalloys alloys. I think there is an Ender I.O., but... I don't think it's, I don't, I'm pretty sure Ender IO is not in this mod pack, so unfortunately I don't think we can do that. We just have to get all this this bronze that's just completely worthless to us right now, and I guess just stick with it, because we have no other choice. So, uh, I guess we can, I can always go back down to the caves, get more copper, and actually, let's check. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more copper in my backpack. That's where I was storing all my ores while I was mining, unfortunately there's not any more. So, we can get that and two more ingots of a bronze and that will finally be empty we don't have to worry about that for a little while and we have 52 blocks of electrum because i accidentally uh mixed the gold with the silver inside there and i don't think there's anything else notable that happened while we were gone so there we go there's that and let's get these down and i think we just have to do one more craft of the ingots uh one right or is it another one no yeah, we have to do another one uh, oh, whoops, did not mean to get that cast out. Oh, get that cobblestone and put that cast back. There we go. And grab that last ingot of roo. All right. So, cow, we need to go get some more copper. But I think for right now, we can definitely go downstairs, install that brand new induction smelter that I made accidentally off camera. God. <laughs> oh, wait, let's see how our oreberry farm is doing right now. Must be doing pretty. Oh, did Beefy just leave? Oh, man, he keeps threatening. I'm pretty sure he just he's, he keeps on threatening that he's going to leave, I'm telling you that much. Alright, God, I do not need that block there. 
Okay, it didn't destroy my house there. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll throw that gravel up in there. We don't even need that. And a site, some stone as well. God, I did it again. I need to stop holding blocks while I do that. Uh, hold carrots. <laughs> hold carrots while I grab all these ore berries. There we go. Grabbing all these. That's actually a pretty good amount. Just throw these into a smelter, you know, and then we'll be set. Have a bunch of uh, extra stuff. Uh, these are the copper ones. Yeah, those are the copper ones. And now that there's no uh, bronze in there, we can actually get ourselves straight copper for our pulverizer. So how much do we need? We need, oh yeah, we just need the copper gears, which is going to be eight copper Blo or ingots, not blocks. God, that'd be expensive. Uh, we actually have one copper inside of there. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Let's put all these minerals inside of here for now. And we can always organize them in a bit. Need to put up all this cobblestone that we're not using. That is a ton. Wow. That is a ton. Gee. Oh, wow. Nine more fossils while we're mining. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, that, that, yeah that's great. Uh, more flint. And we have bones, uh, melons, I'll keep those in my inventory for now. Rotten flesh, I can go up there too. Sticks. Oh yeah, I got rails too, so we can go throw those into this smelterino. And we can get ourselves some more iron from that. That's perfect. I totally forgot about that. I I, I remembered it while we were down there in the uh, the mines, and I just grabbed a bunch of them. Also got myself some Surtis Quartz, just in case we find that villager that had some juicy trains. So, where is said villager? Is he inside this house? I'm pretty sure he was a blacksmith. Nope, this was the bad trade villager, the one that wanted emeralds for silicon. That's terrible. <laughs> and is he inside the blacksmith house? No, he is not. Is he inside of this house? Uh, no one's inside here. And it's starting to get dark outside again, right? I think it is. I think the sun is starting to set. And I don't think that he's working inside the lab, unfortunately. So, yeah, I don't know where this, with this, uh, where this other villager is at. The one that had the juicy trade for the emeralds. I could really use some of those emeralds, just in case we come across a villager that has a good emeralds for, like, diamonds trade or something like that, you know? That'd come in quite handy-dandy notebook. So, yeah, there's nothing there, and no one there. Alright, well, I don't know where they're at. They're probably all inside of some house. I don't know where. Probably inside of my house, I'll tell you that much. God. <laughs> Anyways, let's head back down to our brand new lab arena. Or lab arena? God. <laughs> lab area. And it's not an arena, is it? It's just a little lab area. Gee, it's not, it's not that complicated. There's some coal here as well, so let's actually put down that induction smelter. Uh, let's see. The input and output is it actually, yeah, it's actually connected, no problem. Uh, input and output, don't have to worry about that right now. Locks, lock the flux slot. Eh, I think it's fine right now. So we're going to be using this to actually make ourselves steel, so we combine that with the, the pulverized coal, and then uh, we can actually, ooh, wait, how much power does this have now? 51,000, that's really good. Let's go throw in almost half of, almost a whole stack of coal in there. That's going to get us a pretty good amount of power. Wow, look at that. The in and out of that is only 200 RF per tick, which is, uh, it, it, it could be better, you know? Like, we could always upgrade the leadstone energy cell in the future, but 200 RF per tick? It's already got 10,000 more RF from whenever we put that coal inside there, so I'm not complaining. Let's grab this coal, actually. Uh, let's grab it like so. There we go. Oh, there's copper right here. This is perfect. That's exactly what we need because we needed to get the, the copper ingots or the copper gears. God, I am glad I just randomly got this coal right here. Let's get rid of it. Let's randomly get that coal. Oh, nope. There's no copper behind that wall, unfortunately. And does this induction? Oh, it's not getting any power inside of it. Is this, uh, why is this not, uh, charging up or something? Actually, one thing that we do need to do with the Leadstone Energy Cell is actually set the output so... I don't know how we placed it, so I don't know which side is which. Uh, where's the output of the- oh, that's the top, yep. And we got pretty much every side. Oh, oh, there we go. I think we got it. And let's set all these other sides to blue, so there we go. And this is- yep, yep, here we go. Alright, so now it's actually charging up the induction smelter with some power. And this is- yeah, the power's going down here. It's still getting power from this. Wow, god, look at all that lava there. <laughs> yeah, that is a ton. 17,000 millibuckets. Basically, 17 buckets of lava inside of this heat generator that we got from almost a stack of uh, coal. And speaking of coal, let's go put some more in there. Because we're not going to be using that for anything else. We can also hook up some, uh, some redstone furnaces in there as well and- Pretty much just use coal to use for to actually power furnaces, but we're actually using redstone RF. It's, it's being converted into redstone RF. I don't know if it's going to be any more efficient though. I do know that we can upgrade the speed and stuff of it by getting a uh, better stuff. Oh, oh no! A villager was just converted into a zombie villager. Oh no! Oh my God! We don't have the necessary tools to convert him back. We must slay him. Get out of here, villager! 
Uh, ah, I'm sorry to murder you, fellow villager, but it had to be done before you spread the plague to other villagers. Innocent villagers, I might add. Ah, that is not cool. That is not cool at all. Ah, well, anyways, how many how many things of copper? Eh, we got a pretty decent amount of copper. Uh, let's let's go over here and make sure that we don't have any like aluminum that can actually. Yeah, we have a lot of aluminum here. Let's break those down. Or uh, let's pour those down. Let's not break it down. Let's pour those down into there so we can actually take full advantage of the smeltery and get double the ores, or double the ingots actually, out of this. So there we go. It's not going to combine with the aluminum. Uh, if it is, it's, it's going to make a very negligible amount because there's only five nuggets of aluminum in there. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't really do. Actually, it combines with tin. Yeah, we have to get rid of all this tin, not aluminum. All right. Oh, geez. I was just about to throw that copper in there, and it was going to combine with the tin and make... God, I'm glad I caught that there at the last second. Jeez. All right. Well, three more blocks, two more ingots. How many more millibuckets of tin do we have in here? Uh, 25 uh, ingots are left, so we can get two more there and almost another block, but unfortunately not quite, so... Let me just get all this tin out of here real quick. There we go. All right, so now we can finally put that copper inside of there. Nice, safe, and sound. And other than that, I think we're, yeah, I think we're pretty much set. We can make another machine frame, no problem, especially because we just got a lot of tin. And now we can make that uh, pulverizer and pulverize some coal and actually make some steel for our, our stuff. So that's great. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, the copper's still smelting, so I'll see you guys once the copper's done. Actually, we just ran out of lava there. Ooh, ouch. Now, someone actually gave me a pretty nifty tip to actually take the... Do we not have... Uh, there's our spare pick. All right, to actually take the seared tank out of the smelt... Oh, whoa, what just happened right there? It's like turning purple. What? <laughs> All right, let's grab the seared tank out of there. And if we can go over to that meteor and actually fill this seared tank up to the brim... Uh, do we have buckets? Nope, I think we put all of our buckets back in the house. We can go fill this up to the brim with- Oh my god, where is- Oh, Beefy was- He was threatening to leave there, I'm pretty sure he was. To the brim with lava, no problem. So, let's go over to Zad Meteor, fill this up, and then fill up an extra bucket of lava, just because why not. And there is another zombie trying to break into this house. You kidding me? Literally every night. Literally every single night. You guys want to break in and... God! Oh, wow, he actually dropped some pretty decent stuff. Oh, these villagers are still cowering in fear over here in the corner. <gasps> See, I could have bought some glowstone. I could have saved myself a trip to the nether there, but unfortunately, I can't find that other villager. Uh, hopefully he's not... Oh, what just happened right there? What? A squid was wearing some sort of hat. I hope it was a hat. That was a spooky little figure I saw there. Oh my god. Okay. Is that squid gonna show its spooky hat again? I hope not. What was it, actually? I, I can do- I can go underwater. Oh, uh, there it is right there! What is that hat? What is it? I can barely see it. What is that a squid? What is that? Let's grab it. Let's get that hat. Oh, okay. It's just a little, it's like a little Enderman person hat. Okay, that must have been why it was so spooky. <laughs> All right, let's go over to that meteor real quick. Oh, man, there's a skeleton over here. Oh, oh, this is a dangerous ground for a skeleton. Uh, uh, die. Oh, that was, would have been epic if he died right there. And into the water, death. <laughs> God, that was epic. All right. Oh, man, this is dangerous again. We are literally on the edge of death once more, ladies and gentlemen. So we need to get this seared tank. I guess we can put it there and jump there. All MLG Pro almost died. Like it's nothing. Fill that up and grab some more lava. Fill that up. Fill that up and one more. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of lava right there. All right, is this the last bit? I think it might be. Uh, there might be some more. Uh, I do oh, whoa, little spark just caught me on fire for a split second. That's not good. Let's eat some carrots. Let's get up the regen health, or regen status, actually. There we go. And let's grab one more bucket of lava, if there even is any more source blocks here. Oh, whoop, well, there we go. All right. Oh, another spark. I'm on fire. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous. Get out of the pit of straight up death. Oh, we need to hurry up. Get out of here, there's so much lava and everything just waiting to kill us. Oh, scrap that seared tank full of lava and an extra bucket of lava. Oh, and then the sun, the sun rises over the horizon in the Jurassic World Modded Survival Mod Pack. 
Oh man, it looks great. It looks fantastic. God, look at that sunrise. Everything's so like vibrant and colorful as if as if it knows that dinosaurs are just beyond the dare I say horizon. Oh, all right, so I'll see you guys once we get back to the smeltery. All right, let's install this brand new, well, it's not brand new, but newly filled up lava. Oh, there we go. Now our copper is going to continue smelting. Look at all that. That is completely full with a bucket of lava to spare. No problem. Let's actually keep that bucket of lava in here just in case we want to use it in the future. There's raw beef here. I have I have not been collecting this this here, uh, dare I say, uh, beef jerky for quite a while, so... Let's get this raw beef on there and get some beef jerky for the future. Let's check up on our coal. Oh, them nice. The copper just finished. 11 ingots of copper. Don't have to worry. Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh, stop leaking into there. Oh, no. This is not going to finish, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's not going to finish. Uh, 11.52. Oh, oh, look at how close that is. <laughs> Man, I am, I am so bad. <laughs> I literally need like one see oh wow yeah there's copper like right there wow how coincidental game thanks again notch for putting this copper like right here perfect placement for me this is, wow this is actually a pretty good vein of copper pretty nicely sized I'll, I'll gladly take that there you go and go throw that into the smeltery that way I don't look like such an idiot now <laughs> all right let's let these uh wow six more copper that's actually pretty good 12 more uh, ingots that's wow I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that all right the copper just finished I'll be taking those 12 of copper and pouring it into here <clears throat> like nothing ever happened <clears throat> nothing happened <clears throat> I'm, I'm still just pouring lava uh, copper like it's nothing I uh, nothing happened between now and like 20 seconds ago okay there you go the <laughs> copper block is done how much copper do we have left five more ingots that's actually no, that's actually a pretty good number. Let's actually grab those. That's almost, yeah, you know, that is a full uh, copper gear. Let's actually grab those real quick. All right, so now we can go make the pulverizer. Wow, this is great. Uh, we do still need to make ourselves a piston, which is literally like nothing. We just need to get a little bit of wood, cobblestone, iron. Hey, how's it going, Beefy? You, uh, you inspirationally looking outside the window, huh? Yeah, it definitely looks like it. <laughs> All right, so what was it? Oh, yeah, we need some wood, which I think we have some in our backpack. Yep. There's some jungle wood there. Cobblestone is also in our back. No, it's not even in our backpack, actually. That's actually kind of impressive. I thought it would be. And iron is... There we go. Let's grab that iron. All right, so let's auto-craft zip piston. Uh, oh, yeah, redstone. Do we have it? Oh, yeah, there you go. And now we can auto-craft the piston. Oh, there you go. And we can, I think we might be able to auto craft the pulver. No, we still need to make the machine frame, the basic machine frame, might I add. There you go, tin gear. And now we can make the basic machine frame. Oh, wait, whoops. There we go. Machine frame. Oh, yeah, we need the glass. It's still in the, still in here, right? Where is it? Where is that glass? I thought we had some glass. What happened to it? <laughs> I don't know what happened to all that glass that we had. I guess we might have spent it on something, right? Well, either way, we can just uh, put some, eh. What should we put in there? A crafting station? <laughs> Let's smelt some sand with the crafting station. Might as well, right? And some jungle wood. <laughs> there you go. And the final piece of glass is done. Ho oh, ho, there you go. And now we can make that machine frame. There you go. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. I, uh, do we still have the flint in our inventory? No, we put it in our backpack. Uh, no, we put it, we actually put it up. Wow. <laughs> and I think, yeah, we just, oh yeah, we need the copper gear. So we need another copper gear there. Break that down and make this copper gear. There we go. And now we have both of our copper gears. I think everything's done. It's, it's not auto crafting for some reason. Uh, the redstone, re oh yeah, the redstone reception coils inside here. All right. Now it should auto crafting. There we go. There's the pulverizer I was looking for. So now we can make ourselves pulverized coal, pulverized iron copper gold anything like that and so like one ingot of iron is going to give us two pulverized iron dust so we can pretty much double our ores using that method instead of uh, going over to the smeltery that'll save a little bit of time but it's still going to use energy instead of using lava but i guess this method still uses lava technically we can we can throw lava inside the heat generator and that's basically going to generate some more uh, electricity for us or redstone flux or whatever so there we go that's nice and connected up and do we have any more coal? How's this heat generator doing? This, wow, the leadstone energy cell, actually, you know, it's, it's got a lot of energy inside of it. I'm not going to joke. 48,000 smelt, uh, 48,000 RF is inside the induction smelter, and the pulverizer is almost full itself. Yep, there you go. 
and we still have just under 100,000 RF to spare for future, uh, for future machinery, so there we go, wow, we're actually doing quite well for right now, actually, you know what, can we get lead dust, yeah, there is pulverized lead, so if we get this pulverizer and throw, I thought I saw some, a uh, lead ore in it, yeah, there you go, lead ore in our inventory, we do that, we can get some lead, or pulverized lead, it's going to give us two per, yeah, there you go, two pulverized lead, and then each one of these we can smelt in a furnace or like a redstone furnace or whatever and they'll give us one ingot each and oh look at that we have a chance of getting some pulverized silver as well see look at that that's actually really good that is another advantage over using the smeltery so we get an off chance we have a, a chance of getting ourselves a little bit of silver and uh, i don't know what you can get with like iron gold stuff like that i i, I don't remember those but it's definitely handy, not gonna joke. Alright, let's throw up all of our ingots and other materials inside there that we're not gonna be using. Tin, stuff like that. And all of the food inside here, rotten flesh, flint, all the random blocks we're not gonna be using. Random ink sacks from that squid that we murdered, a zombie head. And I think we're gonna be good for now. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more awesome videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching, and me and Beefy will see you here next time. Right, Beefy? Huh? Right, right, Beefy's udders? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, we'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World. Oh, bye there.